Hey guys, Proto here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are back on the Arctic Pioneer. Still doing a bit of long line fishing. We've got all three of our guys coming out to help this morning. So they're going to go over there and jump on the machine gut, both the girls. And then if we have a look at our workers here. We've got uh, Josh coming out to do the long line hauling. So hopefully he's um, going to be good enough to be able to fill our boat without having too much of an issue. But Emma and Pearl are both going to head over to the machine gut and uh, wait for us to haul this first line in and see how we go. Uh, no fish caught, not in season. Um, okay. Well, that's interesting. Let's go down to our second line. Let's hope there's something on this one. Um, Alright, let's use our side thrusters so we can turn a bit quicker. Hoping there's something on the rest of these lines. Otherwise, we've just wasted a long time setting these things out. We've definitely seen the fish in the area, so. Yeah, there's red fish down here. We did see pollock. There you go. There's two pollock in the area. So there's no reason why we shouldn't be getting some. Hmm. Okay, let's go down to line three. Let's hope there's something down here. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we've completely wasted our time. We're going to have to head somewhere else. I said there was definitely pollock and stuff in the area, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I don't think there's been a new update out since my last recording, so I don't think there's an issue with an update or anything. Uh, yep, no fish caught, not in season. Okay. If you say so. Oh, let's get that extra little bit. There we go. And then head to the fourth line. And um, catch nothing again, I would assume. Which is uh, a little bit of a bummer. I'm not sure why we're struggling so much. I don't know if we should get back to lobster fishing, uh, crab fishing, don't know to be honest, but this fishing, what, what, I didn't actually see how far along that line was, but this fishing is obviously not working, um, oh, wrong buttons, let's, everyone can go back to bed, you can all go back and rest, thank you for coming out and, um, yeah, Makes you hard work. Go back to bed. Well, that was uh, embarrassing for me as a ship captain. Getting absolutely nothing. Wish I'd walk a little bit faster though. Hurry up, would ya? I think we might head up to... I think it's Ingalls head up here. You might head up there and... Um, throw out some lines where the pollock is. Hopefully that'll help us. I think they're all in there now so this is where we caught a decent amount but there's nothing there and this is where we were before up in this area so let's just go to Ingalls Head see if we can get some more information as to where the fish may be but yeah things aren't looking great at the moment uh, no tips I'm not even gonna bother with the bloody missions uh, fishing gear. Actually, let's go back. Can we go? Yeah, we can. Let's do this. Let's go rigging. Let's go net fishing. Bugger it. We'll go to net fishing. Why not? We'll try this and see how we go. Uh, how many can we get? 120. Probably, let's maybe get uh, 20. I don't know how many we're going to need. Um, how many people are we going to need? Two for net, two for machine guarding. So let's grab someone out of the crew house that's good at net fishing. They're all about the same. Three, three, and three. So we'll go uh, Victor. Let's have a look who's on board. Josh, net hauling is four. Victor is three. What about Pearl? Five, six. So Emma and Pearl are the best, but they're the best at machine gutting too. 
Yeah, I don't know. Don't know, to be honest. Um, let's come down here. We'll go down to the Grand Manan Island. Let's throw out some um, some nets, I guess. Let's come down to here and then go... I don't know, like this. Back to here somewhere. And then maybe back down here. Like that. And we'll just um, see what happens. Right, so we'll go autopilot from here. Full speed. And let's hope there's some uh, fish in the area. Let's throw some lights on. Um, who's going to prepare the gear? Uh, let's just throw it. Let's throw out Victor. Why not? Right, let's have a look at now. Sonar. It's really shallow here. Look at that. It's crazy shallow. Pollock. Silver hake. Redfish. Come on, Victor. Hurry up. Get over there and get it done. Definitely want to wait till we see something on the the sonar though. You actually gonna prepare the gear or not? Doesn't look like he's doing anything. Uh, let's turn you off for a second. I don't even know if he's actually doing it. Doesn't look like he is, does it? Still having a, a lot of bugs in the game, which is really annoying. Um, prepare the gear. That would be great. Thank you. Um, let's go back and set our autopilot and um, throw a net out when we see some pollock or some redfish in the area. They're the only two things we actually want to be fishing for at the moment. Hoping we come across something soon. As I said, I'm not sure when the latest update was, what the latest update might have been. I'll try and check that out on my other screen. We don't seem to be finding too much. So the 1st of December was the latest update. There's a lot of fixed issues here. I can't read all these and watch this screen at the same time, so. I'm definitely not seeing a great deal, though. Uh, adjusted fish prices, adjusted supply and demand. Uh, cooking position. There's a lot of different things they've fixed, but. We're not really finding any fish at all. This is uh, not looking good. Not looking good for us at all at the moment. Definitely nothing up here. Let's um, remove all this. Let's just go back down and, I don't know, through this area then. It doesn't seem to be like anything. So we'll go back down through here. Like that's the Pollock should be still running that way. Should still be in this area here somewhere. Like through here, I think they're the two that we looked at. I'm not sure if that's the one that I've placed down or not, but I'm pretty sure it was these two that we got the tips for. Yeah, there's just nothing around. God, redfish. Let's throw it out here. There's some redfish, so just see what happens I guess uh, some more redfish and more cod but no pollock which should be in the area here somewhere uh, I can't see what that is there silver hake again so it's a really shallow spot we're in 
Like, this is supposedly where the Pollock was, but I'm not 100% sure if they're going to still be here. We haven't seen one at all on the sonar at the moment, so... Uh, they could be... could be heading somewhere else. But what I'll do, guys, is I'll keep throwing out nets when I see some fish on here. I might throw out 10 nets, and then we'll come back and reel them in, and... Let's hope we got some more than we did, um, picking up those long lines. So we'll be back soon. Rightio guys, we're back. Um, hopefully a bit luckier than last time. One thing I've noticed though is there is a lot of crab and lobster in these shallower areas all through, like in through here. So I don't know if it's worthwhile coming back and fishing for crab again at some stage. I don't know. Um, I did make a mistake with one of the nets up here, I think net 2 because the crew is not preparing the nets back here like they should be. So I've had to leave the seat, prepare them, throw them out myself, and the crew wasn't doing any of that. So I was setting out net number two, and I decided to try and jump out of the seat and prepare net three. And when I did that, I cancelled the setting of the net, which completely damaged it. So yeah, it's one thing that's happened. I'm hoping that that doesn't happen every time. Um, can we? Oh, we can't go that way, can we? So I'm just going to go down and see what they're bringing in. You can probably see from here. Redfish. I think that's the Pollock. I don't know. More redfish. So they're doing alright. At least I know they're bringing something in. Uh, can we go further forward? I don't think we can. Can't really see either. I can barely see what they get. 4,000 kilos. Yep, not great. Not a great haul, but um, we'll head towards your second one. Is that someone? So get away from where my nets are. Find your own bloody area, buddy. I'm struggling enough as it is. Alright, we'll head towards number two. I've noticed there's been a lot of boats around in this area down through here. Which is crazy. Not as much. Oh, there's still a few down in here, but nothing over this side. There seem to be a lot over in here. Now, are they fishing for pollock and redfish? I don't know. Are they doing lobster and crab? I don't know. But maybe this is an area we need to get back into. And um, we've been down in there before, so... We'll see how we go up here. If we don't get any success up here, we're definitely going to have to move somewhere else, or we're going to have to go crab fishing, long line fishing, uh, lobster fishing. I don't know, we'll just skip through a couple of months and fish for something else. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think we should do. But we're, um, we're not making great money like this at the moment. I mean, the girls are going to probably get through all this before we even reel any more fish in. That's how good they're going with the, um, with the machine gutting. So I'm going to keep this sonar on for a little while and see how we go, but this is that little net that I said I threw out which got damaged, so I don't know what they're going to do with this, if they're going to catch any fish at all or if it's just going to be, you know, reeled in and thrown to the side because I broke it. <coughs> Alright, see what this has got. So it's got something on there. Yep, net two damage to use. We got a little bit of fish, which is better than nothing, I guess. I don't know. We'll go to this one. Oh, I didn't see much Pollock on the radar or the sonar. I keep calling it a radar. I seen very little. There's one there, but I did see very little when I was setting these out. I pretty much just waited till I seen either Pollock or redfish, and I seen more redfish than anything else, and a lot of lobster and crab. But not much, not much of what we're actually fishing for, which is pollock, which is one there and redfish there, so that's positive signs, maybe, hopefully. Let's see how these guys go. Hoping they're going to do all right. Grab a quick screenshot while we're there for our thumbnail. I 
really don't think we're going to fill the boat. Um, we just have to wait and see what they what this net brings us. The other one was four thousand, or just under five thousand, and then a couple of hundred kilos, three or four hundred kilos. So, hoping this one's going to be better. Um, okay. I don't want to set that, read that, get rid of it. What do we have? 8,422. So better than the first one. But still not massive. But I guess it's better than going in empty handed like we were with the long line fishing. Definitely not good going back empty handed. Certainly does make you feel very good as a skipper. Uh, so what's the time? It's actually getting quite late. So let's throw some of these lights on so they can actually see what they're doing. This boat. Oof. It's um, rocks quite a bit, doesn't it? Probably haven't thrown one of the guys overboard yet. Right, so coming up on, let's say, net three. Because net two was just destroyed. See, look at the crab. Four crab in that little area. This might be a decent crabbing spot. Go back and have a look. Like, there's a decent amount, but having four just within that 100 metres is pretty good. Yeah, you watch out for this guy. Just have me nets right there, mate. Don't you dare drive over that. Is he going to... Yep, good on you. Good on you. Just, could you not see that? Unbelievable. The other guy over here. What are you fishing for? There's no sword fishing tuna out anyway. Ah, what are we going to do with these people? Right, 4,500. Not bad, not great. But, as I said, better than nothing. We might be lucky to be half full by the time we're finished. It's weird that our nets have sort of gone at a different angle, considering had the cruise control, not cruise control, autopilot and stuff on. Technically cruise control. Oh, there we go, they can bring this one in. I hate it when it keeps telling me that it's setting the net. You're not setting the net, you're reeling it in. Ah, okay, so I did report the bug of the guys not being able to actually set or prepare the nets. So I've reported that to the developers. Hopefully they can um, sort that out. I think it's probably just an Arctic Pioneer issue. They've pretty much gutted half of what we've caught. Oh, they're doing doing pretty good. 15, nearly 1600, nearly 1500. So what level? Level 13. So they're getting up there in levels. Net two damaged. Good on yous. Uh, so maybe I should go down and help if we bring I don't know Victor you can go and cook let me help with the bringing of the net in might help us bump up our um, our total catch if I'm actually helping um, net hauling they're not the greatest as we know How are you? you're, you're, you're even worse at cooking but hey, everybody needs to learn how to cook. Except for the captain, of course. The captain doesn't cook, he steers the ship. Right, so we'll come up on net number six. I think I threw out 11 because of that number two, which was bad, so this is technically halfway, halfway through the nets that we've thrown out. I'll slow down a little bit. Okay, shut the boat down, haul the net. And I've completely forgotten how we do this. I think we just hit the mouse button again, don't we? Uh, oh yeah, there we go. You gotta press the mouse to start, don't we? Oh yep, yep. I remember now. It's been a long time since I've done it. There we go, that's better. So I'm hoping with me helping, we're not going to damage the net. We've got 12. 
the 12 attempts on the net, which I think the total is 15, or the max amount is 15, so same as long lining. I'm hoping we can um, get these in reasonably well. We haven't had any bad jets, but we've only had one perfect as well, so... Oh, there's a, there's a bad one. Just when I say we haven't had any bad ones yet. Right, two more to go. Lucky last. Much to be get. 6-5. So, really, did it help? Nah, not really. You can go back there. Saves me doing it. Alright, let's, um, fast travel. Back to there. Uh, let's head towards the boy. He's not even back out yet. How are the girls going? They're probably... Whoa. Is that lag or is that a crash? Look, just lag, thankfully. Girls are halfway through gutting. So they're doing a pretty good bloody, pretty bloody good job, I should say. Right, let's head towards this one. Slow it down a bit, we've got to give that guy a bit of time to get there. Let's throw in a quick save in case it decides to have another issue again. Alright, so we'll bring this net in. Where's our next line? Miles away up here somewhere. There it is, I think. Uh, still tell me it's setting nets when it's not. How are these guys going? They're getting there. They're getting there. Alrighty, guys. What I'll do is I'll um, I'll cut the video again here. I'll reel the rest of these nets in, and I'll bring you guys back when we're heading to port. So um, I'll see you guys back here in a second. Right here guys, we've just hauled in our last one. Um, so we have 70,894 kilos, so not a full boat, but close enough. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to worry too much. Um, let's head down here and around, and we're going to go to Lunenburg to sell. Might um, travel down to here and then check and see how oops, see how those girls are going. Um, Silver Hague eight months ago. This is all old, old. Not that worried about those. All right, let's actually have a look to our wiki. Go no. Uh, logbook statistics. Do we have everything unlocked? We've got one thing we haven't unlocked yet. Which I'm not sure what that is. Might be a boat or something somewhere. All right, let's have a look how the girls going. Are they done? They are done. Well done. Uh, Emma, actually, you can go back and cook. We can clear this now, and we can just go straight to Lunenburg. Saves us having to muck around too much. Now, I can't remember what time of the year we're in. I think we're in April or something, maybe even closer to May. So we need to have a look at, actually we're in May, there we go. Look at what we're going to do. Oh, she's, I say she's literally cooked nothing, and that's because they're still there. Always forget about that. Always forget. Um, so let's, well, turn these lights off. Dock at Lunenburg. Sell our fish. So, Pollock is up $2.50. Uh, Redfish is up $2.00. So this is the best place we could have come to. Uh, we're going to make 423 and pay our guys just under 24,000. So I'm happy with that. We still made money. Not a massive amount of money, but it's money in the bank. Um, let's check the bar for some tips. Mackerel. We don't care about mackerel at the moment. Um, let's check the shipyard, I guess, and see what's available over here. So the Lunar Bow and the Atlantic Catcher. I mean, I'd love to get this thing, but don't have those sorts of funds. Let's actually quickly check the bank. Did we pay off our loan? No, we haven't. Still owe a total of six million dollars. Uh, which might take us long to pay off using this boat anyway, but 
I just don't know what we're going to do next episode and stuff like should we go down in here and check it down in here again because there seems to be a lot of boats like hanging around in this area down in here and all in through here as well so maybe the lobsters moved into here uh, I don't know but as I said this looks like there's a lot of crab and stuff up in here but not a lot of pollock and stuff yeah I'm not sure but um let's go back to long line fishing because I prefer that over net fishing actually target the fish we want uh, fishing gear, bait long lines, they should all be... Why have they got krill? I think they must have been targeting krill. Uh, let's just bait them all with krill. Whatever, that's fine, we can target redfish. And um, I guess next episode we'll we'll come back and, and head down um, into here and do a bit of fishing and see what things are like down in here. Unless you guys have got another suggestion what we should do. If you do, leave it in the comment section. Um, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Ben Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.